yes, there are snowballs in hell. I rise in support of Amendments 4 and 5. I do so with a heavy heart as I deeply appreciate the Americans whose lives are in danger in Afghanistan. They are there to protect us against the radical forces of Islam, which used Afghanistan as a base of operations that led to the slaughter of 3,000 Americans, 9-11, which is almost nine years ago. After that vicious attack on our civilian populations, yes, we cannot let down our guard. However, that does not mean rubber stamping any military operation, even if it does not have a chance of success. I have been engaged in Afghanistan since the 1980s, and I can state emphatically that if we continue our present strategy in Afghanistan, we will not succeed, and America will eventually be weakened by loss of lives and the expenditure of hundreds of billions of dollars. What works in Afghanistan, it's what has worked in Afghanistan. Let the Afghans pay the price. Let them do their fighting. Putting American boys in their place is contrary to our national interest and will not lead to success. Trying to foist upon the Afghan people a corrupt, centralized government in Kabul will not work. We need to change strategy instead of putting our people into a meat grinder in the place Donald, of Afghans. The gentleman themselves. has expired. Who